On today's episode, we'll be talking all things true romance. We bust some myths on your favourite romantic films. And you'll find out why I think Bridget Jones got away with absolute murder. But one, one man's meat is another man's poison. Put it in your mouth and suck them. Absolutely not. Cool. Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the backstabbing and the bitching. I like small boobs. I like big boobs. I like all boobs. I like boobs. <laughs> Courtney. <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Courtney. <laughs> Guys, we've got a huge favour to ask you all. Yeah, we took the mick out of people saying subscribe to my channel <laughs> last week. But that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Please subscribe because it actually means a hell of a lot for this podcast. And if you do, we show you what Ross looks like. If you want to see Ross's sexy schmush, hit subscribe now. Shabba. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Therapy Crouch with me, Avi Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. And you? Ross Pitt. <laughs> Pitt, that's a oh no, shite hell of a surname. <laughs> Armpit. Apart from Brad. Cess Pitt. Courtney, I used oh, to play shit. a lad called Courtney Pitt. Courtney, Courtney Pitt. Pitt. Good lad. I like the name Courtney for a guy. Ugh, no. I do. Courtney. Yeah. They don't even like Courtney for a girl. Feels a bit American, doesn't it? Mm. Courtney. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Class Cali accent there. Pete, you sound like you should be on the Kardashians. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Courtney. <laughs> I'm impressed. You sound like a white chick. <laughs> I love that movie. Oh, I haven't seen white chicks for ages. I used to love oh, we film. watched it the other day, didn't we? Mm. Like the kids kind of got off and we were being having like howling. It's not a kids movie though. Not no, really, is it? It's definitely not. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> no. Now, speaking of kids, why have you regressed? You know, we got that PlayStation for Christmas. Mm. It's actually my weekly wine. Oh, straight in. Straight, <laughs> straight in. Peter has now taken up FIFA again. It's a social event, though. You know, it's not like I'm not... Social s- event? Yeah, I'm not sitting there on my own in a dark room playing FIFA. I'm You're like... sitting there on your own in a light room? <laughs> no, when the lads come around, it's like a two, I'm playing a two-player game. And I found myself kind of really reliving my... Teenage I years. just heard you say, oh, fuck off, Doku. What are you doing, lad? <laughs> this is what I'm like walking past my playroom here. And, you know, the, I should walk past to the sound of children giggling and playing. Mm. Not like a 42-year-old man in there swearing at TV screen. <laughs> at teenage footballers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, was, it got aggressive. Well, I let John beat Liverpool and I was City and it was uh, it was a tense battle. I ended up winning on pens. It's a great standard of football, but the uh, the penalties were left a lot to be desired. They but, certainly but, did. I didn't but know you, how to you do, do it. know you're not actually doing anything. Yeah, it's just, the game. Oh, you enjoyed yourself. I found it funny. You enjoyed yourself, exactly right. Pete was hiding his remote control when they were taking pens, so like John couldn't see what way he was going to die. But then the like, Pete didn't know any of the buttons for the pens. Cheese. So like the fucking keeper was just standing still anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but do you know what? I was threatening though, when I? <laughs> yeah. And he, he put them over, didn't he? You won, you it's won, like to be fair. when you were in work the other day and I had to get Spider-Man to crawl up a wall and I was couldn't, I was pressing every single button and none of them worked. <laughs> yeah, I am just not. It's a nightmare because obviously we just got, for Christmas, we got a new PlayStation and we're, awesome. we're into it now. And, um, no, we're not. The, well, we are a bit. I'm trying to get the boys. I'm not. To, no, you're not. No, we are. Me and the kids. Mm. With this Spider-Man one, like, you have to, it takes ages to find what you need to do. It's a great game though. Once you, once you get it, mm. I used to have Spider Man on the PS2. That was a great game. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a very good game. Are you all right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a few gamers out there. Yeah, yeah. Catch me on Twitch. <laughs> What's that? What is that? It's not. Is that like a dating? Just one of those gamers, like yeah. Is that a dating gaming app? That's how we yeah, chat. That's, that's exactly what it is. Is it? No, I think it's like where you stream your You play your a game stuff. and then people watch you play a game. People online. watch you play and all that. So I'm going to set just, one up. Like, holler, slide into DMs if you want me to set up like a Twitch. <laughs> you can watch me game. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Remember last week we were talking about how kind of tech savvy we are. Mm. Well, I'm thinking about setting up a gaming kind of mm. community. Make sure you got your scart leads. <laughs> as long as I've got a scart lead, I'll be fine. I just think... This needs to be the end of this conversation. <laughs> no, I am, jo- I am joking. I don't, I don't think it's ever going to be. You don't have obviously, to worry. I want you to enjoy yourself. No, it's when, when the lads come round, obviously, certainly you the boys who record this podcast, it's nice to go in the breaks, just go and play a quick match. FIFA break! <laughs> no. It's a FC24, isn't it? It's not FIFA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all it's changed, really isn't it? Good, though. FC24. That was so I used to like. It's quite champion. realistic, though. Oh, to be brilliant. fair. Clap looks good on it. 
they, they all do. It's, it's great. The graphics have mm. gone up a notch. Since 1992 when I've played last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We came cube. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever play games? No. I think we had Donkey Kong. We had Gremlins and the little black Gremlin used to go up right over like, ah, get him, get him. But no. I used to play Mario Kart with my sister. That was great. She used to sing this song that used to wind me up massively. You know, like, you just get aggressive. <laughs> yeah, don't you? Yeah. She used to go. You do get aggressive again. Super game. Mario Kart. It's a very goody queen. I was like, it doesn't make any sense. It's not a song. And she'd go, she'd no, invite me up. she keep singing it. And if she beat me, I'd be fuming. I mean, I didn't play that with my, in my house. Oh, sure, I'm played it, but... Yeah, you used to have Mario Kart on yours on your GameCube. Mm. Do you know Mario Kart? We had, uh, when I was playing for Stoke, we had uh, eight of us. It was, it was a maximum of eight, isn't yeah. it? And you all played on the, 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 on the DS. Yeah. So when we were on the plane going to a match, and there's like all different... Parts What's of the play is screaming. Nintendo DS, it's like a handheld game. It's yeah. not a Nintendo Switch. That was the predecessor. Yeah, the one before that. It was so good. And like Bojan was just unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't get near him. <laughs> Unreal he was. Just sliding like along. It was so good. Bojan a character on this game? or Bo Bojan used to play for Barcelona. Oh. He was a Champions League winner. Oh. Um, <laughs> even on the Nintendo DS. Yeah. I thought he was like... One of the Luigi's characters. brother or something. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the tomato thing, the mushroom called Mo Bo sort of Toad. Bojani? Toad. Toad. Oh, well. Fun and games. Uh, oh, my, my weekly wine. Um, it just, it's just along the lines of, you know, we're, we're, we're always rushing. This is, my, this is my problem. Like, you know, even when we're not in a rush, we're in a rush. I don't get it. You know, like, we're going to be late. And they're like, for what? We're organising a fun day out. <laughs> We're going mm. on a walk. Yeah. My, my kind of wine or just advice, really, is just, just, let's just slow it down. Yeah, but not everyone is there. you. Let's get there. When, like, we're getting to an event that we, we've planned for fun. I, I keep out. telling you this. If everyone had your theory, the world wouldn't go round. No, but it'd also be, it'd be a lot less stressful, wouldn't it? Because you'd just be like, Right, we've planned a fun event. The reason We're your life is not stressful is because you don't do anything. <laughs> like, I do it all. She's got, do, she's got you there. <laughs> like, literally. Well, nothing. It's like, no stress. It's like, because you're not, you're not doing all the stuff that I do, which is stressful. Listen, you, I just think it'd be, if you just went, you know, we're not going to be late for the event that we've planned that's going to be fun. Let's make the journey fun as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. The other day you said you are never going on a journey with me and the kids again in your life. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it's I not stand by that argument. It's just not, <laughs> it's not that fun. No, I just think, listen, life's a journey. And if you don't enjoy the journey... I do enjoy it. What's the point? I enjoy everything. Being in a rush does not quantify not enjoying the journey. Well, like you've said, even in the past, like when you go to a restaurant, you always tell them like you're in a rush. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Every restaurant we've ever been, they must think, what on earth is going on? We sit there for two and a half hours after we were, <laughs> after we were in a rush. <laughs> they must think, we got the food out in three minutes flat. <laughs> so they spent two and a half hours having coffee. <laughs> I know, Irish coffee. Oh, I love an Irish coffee at the end of the meal. So do I. All right, should we do some audience wines? Yes. All right, let's fire into these. Uh, weekly wine. Why are men uh, so bad at doing jobs properly? <laughs> Straight in. It's the usual theme. Uh, asked him to put up a shelf. It's taken six months and it's wonky. Asked him to put up my gorgeous bespoke frames and they are not equally spaced. They look stupid. He's useless and he's fucked up my wall. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel bad when I confront him because... Uh, he only ever does jobs when I'm away for work as he's scared of the reaction. Help. Common theme, yet again. Many useless. Fucking leave him alone, I think. He's trying his best. He's putting up shelves. As it, he's been to work and then he's putting up shelves and, she, and he's getting abused for it. On a public platform as well. This is a <laughs> argument we don't have in our house because I, I don't ask Pete to do anything. I wouldn't dare. Imagine if I did. Imagine if you went out and I went, I'm going to put these shelves up myself. <laughs> I Can said you to Pete, imagine the... like even this morning, this is how useless Pete is. I'm like, Pete, can you go to the chemist and get Jack's inhalers? And he went, can you do me a list? Can you do me a list so I don't forget? I'm like, inhalers. there's one thing on the... Jack's on inhalers. It. There's one, there's not a list. Well, then, there's no, there one was a, item. There was a name, it was inhalers and a leg of lamb. From the pharmacist? Uh, from the butcher's <laughs> next door. 
<laughs> yeah, and I like you both. Two things. Says for the Lego lamin. Hey, I thought there was going to be you know, <laughs> just for men or whatever he uses for head and shoulders. In all honesty, I thought there was going to be more to it. Mm. Like you were sending me out to shopping, and I thought there was going to be did more. Come home with a nice charcuterie board. Mm, I very much enjoyed right. that for for the whole podcast team. That I, was very thoughtful of you. Yeah, yeah and that, that was, was off my own back. I mean, and like back. Yeah, I I, th- I thought of that myself. You didn't say go out and get that. I said, you know what, that'd be nice. That wasn't on your list. Yeah, I just went. So I basically went above and beyond, like this guy. He's going above and beyond. And he's getting a grief for it. <laughs> I just, I just she think... usually words like useless and fucked up. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, it's not right. She needs to get herself a little leader builder. I can relate she? to that. Yeah, but mm. I, what my thing is, is he's trying. And she did say that you she doesn't... You can't keep using that excuse. <laughs> yeah, but he's going to stop... Trying. <laughs> he's he's got to stop trying, isn't Stop he? trying and fucking succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Ten for effort, two for attainment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? He's going to stop doing it, isn't he? And then it's going to cost them. And your job will be done correctly, but it's going to, it's going to cost you. That's okay. Is it? <laughs> Is it indeed? Yeah. All right. No fighting in the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think he's going to have to, he's going to, have to do that, isn't he? Because he's, he's obviously not doing things right. Okay, any more? Yep. Uh, sent in for fun, this says. Peter, sort your good lady out. I recently downloaded your pod and listened on a long-haul flight. Funny as hell, by the way. Got to the too tall lanky twat.com sketch. I'm six foot eight and also have to buy from too tall.com. Uh, how fucking sick do you get? Ooh, you're tall. What's the weather like? What size feet have you got? Is everything in proportion? I'm thinking of starting walking around saying, You're a fatty, you're fucking tiny, and you've got little tits. <laughs> Look at them bee stings. I travel to Asia a lot and I feel like Gulliver when I go there. People taking Gulliver. photos of me like I'm a freak. Keep up the great work. It's a proper funny podcast. Well, you've added to it there. Gulliver. Um, That's hilarious. Gulliver. Yeah, I do get it. That does feel like, it does feel like you're allowed never, to say anything. You've never people. been asked if you're in proportion. No. Thank God. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to lie. Um, no. I'm totally out of proportion. <laughs> I don't think it's like, it, you know, people do feel like they can say what they like to tell people. But, you know, like I said, I think we've talked about this before, you know, it's seen as a good thing. So I think, I don't think you should start saying you're a fatty and you you're fucking small tiny. Tits. <laughs> small tits is a mad one. That is a mad one. Imagine you actually said that to someone. I like small boobs. I like big boobs. I like, I like all boobs. I like them big. big. I, I like, like them chunky. <laughs> 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 yeah it's I don't know you obviously can't say that um, you know people get upset but I don't think people get upset about being I just tall. think go back to that old classic that um, Flower said if you can't say anything nice don't say nothing at all or maybe Thumper said it Thumper or Flower said it who's Thumper and Flower who's Thumper and Flower they're in no they're in about me it's a skunk and oh, a rat bunny yeah 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 correct if you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing else. I actually tweeted that to Piers Morgan once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he said he said something about you. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just sent him that quote with the with the bunny and the skunk. I think he was slightly I think he was slightly like worried about that because he texted me as well and was like, Can you tell Mrs. Crouch that I wasn't being serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was all a bit of fun anyway. I was only he's, I was only playing, but yeah, it was good. He's all right, Piers. Yeah. He said something about me being slow. And then I, I think I tweeted him saying, the tor- saying about the tortoise and the hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big Arsenal fan, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. All right. Listen, mate, you, you hang in there. I know what it's like for you. It's tough. It's tough, tough being to the tall man. <laughs> but we'll get through it. All right. Hi, guys. This isn't a wine, but hopefully a, a piece of tip top advice. Ooh. Uh, Any heard, advice, welcome. Yeah, I heard you talking about slurping tea through a twirl on one of your recent episodes. Mm. Thought I'd get on, in touch with a potential game changer. My boyfriend put me onto this and it's revolutionised my life. Using a Cadbury's chocolate finger as a tea straw, you bite a little bit off each end and suck up oh, yeah. to enjoy that chocolatey, biscuity, tea-tasting goodness. Of course, this could be potentially devastating impacts on getting bikini ready. So I do try and limit myself to a couple of teas per week. But no judgment here if you want to make it more regular. Cadbury's chocolate finger as a tea straw. Yeah. 
I could see, I could see that working. I can yeah. see that. I can see that more than a twelve. I always forget about them. I know. They're not in the biscuit section, are they? Do you pop up around Crimbo, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they make a little guest appearance. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they do. But the, the chocolate on a chocolate finger doesn't taste like Cadbury's to me. <laughs> Something's amiss here. Mm. <laughs> really? Oh my God. Did you notice that the um, McVitie's rich teaser darker now? Yeah. What, since you told Jamie Lang that he needs to sort, <laughs> <laughs> sort your biscuits out? <laughs> sort your biscuits out, mate. Sort your pale biscuits out. Do you think he has? You're yeah, gonna, he's, I he's, do. He's turn them up a bit. What is your favourite biscuit? I like those Viennese sandwiches. So. <sighs> chocolate or cream? Do you, know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but with the you can get them with cream in or yeah. chocolate. Yeah. I don't even know that. So just to, to bring you in line with what John said just off camera there, he said that it's impossible to burn a flake. He had a bet with someone in a pub and he's What do you mean by burn? Well, like like melt a flake. Melt or set it alight. Well, it's all over the news that you can't you can't burn a flake. <laughs> Slow news, day. <laughs> this just then. News at 10. News Apparently, just in. You cannot you burn cannot a flake. You cannot melt a flake. <laughs> that is, that. That's nonsense because I bought flakes the other day for the kids after school and they had them in the car and I said, you can't eat them in my car. But by the time we got home, they were all melted in their hands in the wrapper. Melt it in your mouth. <laughs> Very good. You can melt it because I dip them in tea and suck them. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know. We, I don't, we are I don't we're read tackling that. the hard the hard hitting subjects here. Can you burn a flake? I know, but <laughs> well, the news uh, we, agents aren't doing this, are they? Some people want a little bit of light nonsense. Well, you're in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> fucking definitely the right place if you want some light nonsense fuck me it's our middle name let's cheers don't, and don't rush it stop playing FIFA silly boy you don't mind me playing FIFA just only when the lads come round we have a bit of fun you still on the non-alcoholic coronas still on the non-alcoholic coronas yeah going down well in a wine glass I just want my husband to be <laughs> Just want to get him t in tip-top condition before we start getting on the ale. <laughs> before we start hammering again. Yeah, the preamble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm choking. Oh, I actually have another wine. Your obsession with traitors. <gasps> Are you watching traitors? Oh my God, it's mate. fucking unreal. It's isn't a game changer for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can't believe it. I think this. I think it's the best kind of reality show I've ever seen. I think it's awful. Oh my god! I think it's terrible for mental health. This could be the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the best thing I've ever seen. Best like reality kind yeah, yeah, of yeah. stuff. I just love the backstabbing and the bitching. What series are you on? I hate only anything. one. I've yeah, only done one. I get to two. It's only just finished, really, but it's all real me. Oh, I don't I see the point in making people sad, anxious, nervous, paranoid, self-conscious. The point of hundred grand. It, it, does, it does all of those things. I'd rather a, not be them things for a hundred grand. But is yeah, it but a bit like a couple of weeks? So can you explain what traitors actually is for people who don't yeah, know? Yeah, they put like three traitors in a group, right? And you're either a faithful or you're a traitor. But no one knows who the traitors are. Even that even the lingo they use, you're gonna get murdered yeah, tonight. Yeah. I know. I Imagine know. like they're the probably sleep deprived. Imagine going to bed like thinking you're gonna get murdered. <laughs> like know. it's such a it's, sick concept. Well, yeah, it really is, but it's like when you see bad things have happened on the motorway, people look. It's like it's a, it one of those from a psychological things. study, you know, like yeah, a Swedish psychological tell. study on the how um, people with a small amount of people with knowledge can basically manipulate. control, manipulate a, a group. large group of people who don't have that knowledge. Yeah. It's a proper psychological thing. Social yeah, experiment. It, yeah, that's exactly you, what it is. Yeah, yep, you, you can tell that. It's, but it's not. It's Big not. Brothers, even a bit like that. Not like that same psychological study, but it's a bit like it's not just a fucking. Go, you go deep with it, can't you? Because it's also that kind of we're watching people like when some, one person mentions their name and then they all kind of jump on it. It's like the herd mentality, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 exactly. And it's obviously so prevalent in like politics and stuff. Now yeah. everyone's like, if one person says something with a bit of influence, everyone's like, yeah, we're all about this now. And you can just change people's opinion. Brexit. Yeah, like yeah, Brexit. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> just threw that in there. <laughs> we, we talked it's true, about this. I think. Yeah. We talked about it. It is true. Yeah. You know when uh, when you haven't got a clue about politics, <laughs> when, when Brexit was happening, it's like, well, a Brexit situation. <laughs> and everyone goes, Whoa, oh my God, you, you look really intelligent. <laughs> and you just go, <sighs> Brexit. Yeah. All you have to say is that, <sighs> Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone goes, cool, he knows his stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you actually don't say anything else. That was when it was all going on. Cool. Oh, Brexit. <laughs> I just can't talk about it well. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, the answer to that is say no more. <laughs> say no more. That's like if someone asks you about Brexit, you go fucking clear what's going on, right? You go, okay, what do you think about Brexit? You go, don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> and then the actual, no, don't, seriously don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please, please don't. Please don't. Honestly, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> As if you talk about it all the time at home. <laughs> It is interesting politics, though. It is, but you know what? Like, what I find with it, right? And we're not going to get into politics, not what we do here. But it's like, what, why? Um, it's like you have to be so one side. You know, you can't be like, well, like, you know, you, you, you have to be like, you can't sit on the and fence. If you're not, it's tribal, isn't it? It's if you're not tribal. one, you're the other. It's like, it's you, can't, you can't just sit there. If you said, there's enough politics going on in our road for me. Let's talk about politics at home as well. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on. Should we get into the podcast? Yeah, the reason for this kind of episode today is, you know, when I was ill, you like you had me watching all these like romantic films and stuff like that, like, and it felt like I was always in trouble by the end of it because I'd never lived up to like the main character's role, mm. you know, like the Notebook, for instance, right? It's like, why don't you love me like that? And like, why don't you do that for me? Why don't you do? You know, do you know let's, like, let's just. Why do we have to compare? So you want to like de- debunk some myths against? Yeah. You know, I do, yeah, I because so. I, don't, I don't think I don't think this would happen in real life. This is okay. these are Hollywood films, and they're the notebook. They're, they're geared up for women. I think to go, ah, oh, isn't he gorgeous? I know and so many men who love the Notebook. I like it. I, it's a good film, really good film. So he built her her dream house. She only mentioned this house once, and what what it wanted to look like. What's this film? The Notebook. The Notebook. Seen, no, no, no. She's ran off. Isn't had an it? affair. Was in the paper about to marry someone else. Meanwhile, he's building the dream ha- home. She's having an affair on him and he's building a house. Yeah, she... didn't have an affair. They she moved, did. She moved, didn't they move away? They moved away. He didn't go... To, well, he went out with that girl for a bit, but she but why, kind of... Why did they split? Because the mum took her away. That was it. Took her away from him. And he wrote letters every single day and she hid them all. You don't even text me what time you're coming home. <laughs> you know, she, she, men- she, she mentioned this house once. That's what I'm talking about. And he's built, <laughs> exactly what I'm talking he's about. built this house of memories. Took years building this white dream house with the blue shutters and a painting room for her. Like, can men love women that much? You can't even get a donkey shed. Exactly. You can't even get a donkey yeah, shed. Can, can you imagine, right? He's gone to that, those lengths, right? Yeah. She's shacked up with someone else. I know. Like, what? Well, you know, what? that's why you wouldn't do it. That's You'd be like, easy. what if you just go, it just turns up and goes, oh, you dope. You dope. Because that you'd, you'd come in and go, that's fucking wonky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't want those curtains. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's that tree in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> that shit tree. <laughs> so I wouldn't have painted them this colour. <laughs> it's a lovely idea, but it's all wrong. Well, oh, if yeah. you would have listened to me, to my description, you should get it wrong. I watched that um, PS I Love You the other day. Have you ever seen that? With Gerard Butler and Rachel McAdams. And he, he knows he's going to die and he writes it all letters from Beyond the Grave. Tell him to move on. That was a class film. Is it? T.A. Jacker, though. I don't, I don't get emotional, but I, I cried. Really? Yeah. I thought that was a comedy, though. I don't think so. No, yeah, P.S. I Love You. Yeah. What did we watch the other day, which is funny? Crazy Stupid Love, I love that. What's that about? It's about, it, it's Ryan Gosling and, what's his Steve Carell, is Steve it? Steve Carell. God. His wife cheats on him. Steve Carell. Yeah. And then he meets Ryan Gosling, who's like this Honk. suave. Bachelor player <laughs> and he, they form like a little bond mm. and Ryan Gosling ends up going, falling in love with his daughter oh mm. no but yeah it's a good film I love that it was good what were the so what were the movies Pretty Woman wouldn't happen <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> certainly wouldn't be as you know romantic as it was yeah it's a bit creepy creepy pretty woman when you think about it isn't it what? It is. I think that about they just sex it off. Indecent proposal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were speaking about that today. Indecent what? proposal. I haven't seen that. No, Richard he's Gere just literally and like Carson. Richard Gere just offers like a million dollars to like be with his wife, and he goes, "Go on then." Go on then. <laughs> oh, I reckon most men would do that. What? Surely for not. a million quid. No way. Would you? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> People do that for fun, for no money, Pete. Do they? 
bit much. Yeah. But I always, I even think like Bridget Jones got away with murder. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you know, she she got pregnant. <laughs> that a quote that Bridget, Bridget Jones got away with murder. <laughs> no, because she had she had two men in the mix to, to be the father of her child and didn't know, and they both. Not one of them shouted at her. And they both wanted to stay in the picture and be the father to this baby. Oh, was that a number three? I've only really seen one and two. One and two are two of my favourite films. To be yeah, fantastic films. Lovely fantastic. Like but I was a bit season. like, that's not realistic. Is it? She got away with it. Yeah. And she got out of that type prison awfully quick, I thought. <laughs> 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 Shall I tell you another load of bollocks? Go on. Titanic. <laughs> no, God, Pete. What are you going for on Titanic? Oh, well, I don't know. That steamy sex in the car. Oh yeah. What, did he what is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I <laughs> sexual away. Looking into the distance. <laughs> oh yeah. Everyone does that. Everyone does that. Well, steamy that sex in the car. With the, with the love of your life, it, it's that eloping factor. Mm. Like when you, you're you supposed to, you're with someone else, you're about to get married and then you see the love of your life and you get your needs, you know, it's that. He was a knob though, wasn't he? Fellow she was marrying and obviously she's just met someone who's fun and swept her off her feet. I don't think it was fun. What, well, it was. They, the they had loads of fun together, didn't they? They were down the bottom and they were having the a cafe. big dance. They had and one the... night out together. <laughs> <laughs> didn't well, you so they, wasn't they wasn't fun. Yeah, I wouldn't describe Leonardo as a fun, fun. How would you describe him then? Steve Carell's fun. <laughs> yeah. He was Don't fun mean. in that. He was, he was, he had a bit about him, no, didn't he? No, he wasn't fun. He was romantic. Pete was sketching her, you yeah, know. He was, they were running around the ship. They were having the he dance on it. He ran around the ship once. It was, it was, she, he swept her off. It's only a friggin' two-hour movie. What do you want? Like, fucking 15 <laughs> nights out. The ship sank <laughs> after about two weeks up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> No, but it's like I wouldn't. Des- I wouldn't describe it having fun. They it was true love. So, so they, so they, okay, right. So no, she had a miserable love. time with him then. She had a really no. boring time with him. It wasn't. It was deeper than fun. Well, obviously, but she she had a bit of fun they had as a well. Full connection. She had a bit of slap and tickle. That looked quite fun. A bit of fun. Imagine they had some fun. Out romantic, you know. Put this big diamond necklace on and let me draw you. Well, if I if I came for instance, no. right, we're, we're debunking right here, right? I come home from work, right? I'm going get naked, keep put that necklace on, and I'll draw you. You <laughs> fucking pervert! <laughs> oh, I'd love that. You'd love that. Get that right, fleece so, dress and tonight, go off. I've got a, I've got an evening plan. You, you can vouch for this, right? Tonight, I want to draw you. No, because you can't naked. draw. I want to draw you naked. No, you're not drawing me naked. On. Why not? Well, if you, you buy me a necklace, then romantic. you can. You said, it, you said it's amazingly romantic. It is because he's like, oh, when he's talking about the woman's hands, I just love hands and, you know, all the detail. Like he's, he's a spiritual, deep... I love your hands. You don't love my I hands? I adore your hands. It's stunning. You've never said you like my hands. But your feet have got a problem with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said to me before, oh, how big is your toe? I know. I can't talk even most muscles. No, I do, I do a beautiful portrait of you from the, from the knees up. You also cut my knees off. I haven't got great knees either. Actually, actually don't do me from the waist up. Just do the headshot from behind. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your kit off, though. <laughs> get all the gear off, though. Make sure you get all the detail in the fleece dressing gown. I'll get all the detail in the fleece. In the Rosie Huntington. Yeah. Can't believe you think Titanic's a load of bollocks. No, I'm joking. It's a great film. It's the a bollocks fantastic. side of it though is more of like as if she go for it in real life, the little pauper on third deck, and she's in first class. Yeah, but I think I that think happened. they do because he's, yeah, but... she's in a relationship that she hates, mm. and the mum's forced it on her, and then you know, so, someone who's but you can't not put a fun, price but... on on true love. You'd rather be sitting in a tent or with someone you love and want to be with than in a mansion with someone you hate. Would there be? Mm. Golden cage. And if they look like Leonardo DiCaprio as well. Yeah, obviously, obviously, that, that's obviously helps, doesn't it? Especially mm. in that film. In that film, yeah. God, he looks like a child in that though now. When you look at him now, yeah. God. Well, you must have been young. Cr- I remember crying watching that because I loved him so much. <laughs> well, not because of the terrible loss of life. I was crying because yeah. I loved I him I wanted so. her to die at the end. <laughs> not him. You bitch. <laughs> and if I was thinking, imagine if, you know, she died and then 
Jack Single. Jack Single with a t- t- two million pound diamond in his pocket. Do you know there was a real passenger who died on the Titanic called Jack Dawson? The most visited Titanic grave. Really? Well, obviously. Yeah, but they, they, they didn't know. It was just coincidence. And then they found out after. What? It was a coincidence. No way. Yeah, way. Yeah, way. Yeah, way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... 100%. Bullshit. 100%. Google yeah, that, kids. Yeah, that's yeah. debunked. That, that's clever marketing. <laughs> yeah. Great uh, soundtrack as well. That was number one for seven weeks, sir. Huh? Yeah, well, rightly so. Celine. Oh, it's Celine. What is it? What is it? I Will Always Love You? No. No. Heart Will Go On. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Wherever you are, and I know. I'm saving this one to sing it with Luke Evans. I want to sing it with you. It will go on. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. You're a mix of two songs together. Is that not the same? That's the song, isn't it? No, my heart will go on. Do 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 Romeo and Juliet is another one with DiCaprio. Did you write this list? (laughs) Did you write this list? Which one? Romeo and Juliet, Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. (laughs) That's another. This is right up your um, right up your alley. This isn't it? No, I think it's. I think for me, it's more about like you know how to lose a guy in ten days as well. That's a good one. With Romeo and Juliet, does love at first sight exist? Is that a thing? If you see someone across the bar, you go, "I love you." Yes, I'd say yes. No. Absolutely not. Someone could look gorgeous and you think, oh, she's a bit of me, yeah. And then you meet them and they're an absolute knob. That happens all the time. You've got to get to, you got to know them, surely. I think you go, Quah. I can see myself with her. Fwah. You know, 100%. You know, I do that, do all, the that, that all the time. That happens to me all the time. Is that noise? Oh. <laughs> Quah. You're on thin ice, huh? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Have you ever you seen that film? You, wanted, um, you just said you wanted Kate Winston to die <laughs> so you could get with Jack. And, Jack. and I've just gone cool. I don't want Kate Winslet to die. Ro- I want Rose to die. <laughs> Not Kate, Rose, I love Kate. Rose friggin' lasted forever. Know, she was yeah. telling a story at the end. Little minx as well she was. She was yeah, cheeky. No, she yeah. Giving all the juicy details. Little <laughs> mm. Now I do believe in love at first sight. Yeah. It's a nice thing to believe in. Well, well, soulmate then. Would you say soulmate? I would say that, yeah. I think you can meet someone once and go, that, wow, I I think this could be the person. Have you ever felt that way? (laughs) When I met you. That's a lie. Well, it's not a lie, but it's like... (laughs) 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 No. It's a white lie. It's not a black lie, it's a white lie. We were were pissed in a nightclub and I met you and I needed to... Once I met you and we went on a first date, and I got to know you, that was when I went 100%. Like, I could see myself. That, so that first, first date? Meet. Yeah, first date. That's what I mean. I feel like love at first sight, like just you caught her eye across the bar. Yeah. You need to then... Ben meet... Ligger is, <laughs> No, you need to meet them, I think. <laughs> Shave it across the bar. Such a badass superstar. <laughs> Body like a race car. Your favourite <laughs> album of all time. That, love that tune. I love Big that Big fan of that. About Time, not heard, not heard this one. Do you know this film? Yeah. About Time. Tim and Mary's first significant encounter occurs at a dinner experience in a completely pitch black restaurant. Tim and Mary get to know each other and start falling in love without the distractions of appearance. I know. Thoughts? Is, is that the one with um, Blake Lively? I don't know. This, is, this reminds me of Ross, in all honesty, because lots of people getting in touch about Ross and his voice and but how that, sexy they I'm... think he is, but they haven't, no one's ever seen him. Mm. Do you not know? Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I mean. People can form. Could you fall a in feeling? love with someone through through voice, through conversation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. That, that, that's like, that look. <laughs> What's George Michael? Everyone fell in love with it with his voice. You know, people. Yeah, but everyone knew what he looked like. Look like. <laughs> yeah, we can see what he looks like, but people fall in love with a voice. Is what I mean. People yeah, can not, fall in love. Not like, like a singing voice. I'm talking about like a personality, you know, fall in love with that with the person. Yeah. Like if I sang like George Michael, I reckon I have a few people fall in love with me. Mm. Got a great voice. But like I'm talking about as a personality, you sit there and like, for instance, in a dark restaurant. Have you seen that show, um, Love is Blind? That TV show. It's not a film, but it's like basically you, 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 it's a dating show. 
but like there's like in a screen flare. between us. No, not pitch black. Like there's just like a screen, so you can't see. That's blind date. So you sp- yeah, <laughs> literally it's like blind date. But then you do a speed. You do like make all the people, and then the that, side. It's, you called, it's, it's not called Love Is Blind. It it's is. called Love in the Dark. No, it's called Love Is. They're not in the dark. It's Love Is Blind. There is. They are. <laughs> I've seen it. Well, they're in the dark till they meet them, aren't they? Stop this non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> Got the giggles now. Yeah. No, it's uh, called Love in the Dark. There's, there's another there's a show called oh, Love in the Dark. It's like the number one show on Netflix. It's excruciating. <laughs> Who cares what it's called? They, they, the premise is, can you can you fall in love with someone without seeing them? Yeah, well, it's like a, a long distance relationship. What happens if you reveal the person that you love and he's got like three noses? <laughs> Why didn't you say he's ugly? I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know why it would be dramatic. No, I think... Does that matter? I think if you fall deeply in love with someone for their personality. I don't, I don't think looks are the, uh, the be-all and end-all. I genuinely the believe that. But is there, you know, there has to be some sort of attraction, do you think? I think. Not really. Imagine, because if you're blind, for example, you, you can never see your partner, can you? Yeah, but you, t- yeah. you ain't got much choice, have you? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying if you've got all the options, you, you, you would pick... <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see what I'm going for. Yeah, yeah you'd <laughs> like you would pick. Yeah, but one, like, one man's try. meat is another man's poison. <laughs> is that a saying? <laughs> yeah. One man's meat is another man's poison. Well, I it? might think it's beautiful. You might not. Yeah, but it's like shallow how, isn't it? You know, like shallow how he, he saw the beauty from within, from within, and he saw it. So is that when he is that when he sees all the girls? They're like massively overweight, is it? They're, that they're, one? they're all like. No, he sees all. He's danced with all these girls, but he sees <laughs> the them as fat ones. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> And his mates go, what are you dancing with all those monsters for last night? Yeah. But, but they're only... all hot, but they're horrible on the inside. So he, he's he's called Shallow Hal because mm. he was a shallow guy. Yeah. So he would only date hot girls. Mm. So we met this hypnotist in the lift and he changed that and said, you're going to see the beauty from within. But his oh. friend obviously hadn't been hypnotized. So when Shal was dancing with all these ugly girls. that why he danced with all girls, these monsters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're beautiful people. Beautiful people. Ah, yeah. he, he saw them as the hottest thing on earth because he was seeing the beauty from within. Ah, I get you. Yeah, and so, vice versa. I, I think I have seen it years ago. It's a fabulous oh, film. Oh, a top-notch film, that. I mm. love that film. It's Jack Black, on you? I yeah. loved. School See, Jack Black. Black, The Holiday. You could easily fall in love with Jack Black. What are you saying? Externally, you wouldn't fancy him? Yeah. I seen him do a flip the other day. I didn't think Jack Black Back would do a flip. flip. Back flip or front flip. I really thought you were saying he flipped, he flipped out, he got angry. Oh, no, no. I couldn't imagine that. He flipped his lid. <laughs> yeah. I want that can't live without your love. Right here, baby. <laughs> As I said, I want that. <laughs> yeah. Like in the mo- So do you not it? think that's real then? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's obviously a film. You know what I mean? It's like that That kind of, you know, plays into, I think, what women obviously are striving for. And I think, you know, we try and, try and give you that as much as I possibly can. You know that I love you. Try and make be romantic. It's, unfortunately, it's just never going to be as good as Leonardo DiCaprio in um, <laughs> Titanic. It's just not... I've heard he's not that romantic in real life. Well, though. he doesn't sound it, to be fair. Uh, he gets a boat, Leo. Yeah, I think. I, th- I doubt he'd be, be that romantic, no. He doesn't need to be, though, does he? <laughs> Fucking hell. Really? No, in his status, I mean, not. I, I don't think. Not in the... He doesn't need to be, though, does he? He can fucking chuck me all day. <laughs> You know what I mean? (laughs) It's always like kissing in the rain. Like, I look horrific in the rain. You know, it's like, you know, when they're always like snogging in the rain, it looks amazing and like so passionate and romantic. You know, they do it on the notebook that it starts raining and they're on the boat. It's like there's no care. How how to lose a guy in 10 days. Bridget Jones? Yeah. Snowing. She's, yeah, snow with, you know, no pants on. (laughs) <laughs> but it's that snog in the rain that just a lot of women strive for that I think do they well, so what we've taken out of this podcast is I'm going to draw you naked tonight <laughs> we can post that on our socials <laughs> um, and uh, and then I'm going to go outside when it's pissed down and give you a kiss to see how we get on <laughs> tune in next week kids <laughs> yeah but they've always got like a little white vest on that goes slightly see through and the hair's like strategically placed in strands and you look like hot and it's like a good snog sesh. Yeah, I'd like to try that. I'd like to try that. Well, all right, let's do it then. Mm. What's your favourite snog scene out of a movie? Uh, like Jerry Maguire was a bit of a sad love story. It's just screaming at the telly, like just to ditch him. I haven't seen Jerry Maguire. What? I don't know. Oh, that in it. 
Are we talking about that today, actually? Is that with Tom Cruise? Yeah. Is he Dustin Hoffman? Oh, no, that's Raymond, isn't it? Cuba Gooding Jr., Tom Cruise. Um, Bridget Jones. Bridget Jones. Genius, isn't it? <laughs> What's her name? Renny Renny Zellweger. Zellweger. Is he like a genius, isn't it? No. no, he's an agent, football agent. He's a what? Foot, uh, well, American football football agent. He's a football agent. Oh, okay. And oh, he yeah, gets yeah. fired from his job. And Shut up. It's, what, it's a classic. Is it? Like, it's, it's one a, of the best films of all I mean, time. Is it to be fair? Top notch. Mm, I like Tom Cruise. And she, she leaves with him, leaves the workplace with him, sets yeah. up and she's got a little boy in. I was in a bar once. Oh. I heard Cuba Gooding Jr. was there, right? Yeah. And, I, and I didn't, no one said anything, obviously. He just let him crack on. <laughs> and... Uh, he, he started doing it, so obviously left him alone for hours. And then all of a sudden, I just heard that line in the film, show me the money, show me the money. And I was like, no way is he doing that. Looked over and he was he actually doing it. It sounds like a lie. You were there, John. You can vouch for it. Can't believe it. It was amazing. Where were you? We were in a bar, trendy London bar. <laughs> where I go with all my cool mates. So are you, are you telling me, no, yeah. are you telling me no men look at a film and go, I want that romance? I want that relationship. I want to be kick snogged in the rain. I'd like someone who loves me. I mean, <laughs> but I, 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 never, I don't go, oh, I want that romance so much. <laughs> so what, what film, you know, like so many women watch a film and go, oh, I want a Richard Gere. I want a Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. Well, oh, I, I don't know if I'm setting myself up to fall here. <laughs> Maggie's woman. Like, <laughs> is, it, is there no kind of relationship in a movie that you want? Um, or you go, oh, I'd love my wife to do that. Uh, I, 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 don't no, I don't really I, look I, at I, that. I don't, think, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything, like there's no romance where I go, oh God, I just wish I had that. We are different species. Mm. To so you know, when, when um, Thinky built the house, I was like, oh my God, imagine if a man did that, like listened, listened to me, built the dream house while I was away, potentially gone, gone and marry someone else. Has there never been a, a movie yeah, scene that's, where you... That's like, because like, it's all geared up to kind of like for the woman to feel special. Do you know what I mean? So like, <clears throat> I can't think of a film where a girl's gone, you know, I've organised a golf trip for you to go to Sawgrass <laughs> and, you know, you, you're you going to have a great time. Or like, I, I, like, there's no one kind of like... There's no... You are a fucking... <laughs> there's nothing been geared up for a no, no woman. Why you have me Hello? Yeah, but the man's saying that to the woman. No, no woman. She, she said it to him. No, the, Tom Cruise comes in. No. Oh, yeah. She says. He come in with a big. He comes in and goes, hello, says a big spe speech. And she goes, you had me at hello. Yeah, that's, that's a nice thing for her to say. But I don't think, oh, God, I wish someone said that to me. I quite like Up. That makes me feel quite nice. You've seen that film? Mm. With the balloons, the house. Yeah, like the little I, montage I, I, at the start. They have a nice little life, don't what's they? What's at the cartoons, Ross? Yeah. It's brought me around, isn't it? Jimmy they, they have a nice time, but then he he's doing Shrek the nice thing for her again. Up. <laughs> yeah, because that was a couple who were together till they were old and then... She died. Spoiler alert, sorry. I'm not against, like, you know, oh, 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 romance is great. You want that as well, but I don't know. It's romance always, is dead. It always seems to be men making the girl feel special. Not always, Pete. Well, you name me a film where, a romantic film, where a girl has made the man feel special. What about all, the, when, all the kind when, of famous scenes are when, like the What man. about when Rose ran back to Jack and said, come on, let's let's do it. Um, we'll leave together. We'll sink together. When what, what happened? No, when she... She jumps off the lifeboat, doesn't she? She jumps back on the sinking ship. Yeah. Which is right, a good metaphor. Yeah. yeah. She gets... He's chained up to the sinking room. She cuts the chain. But I, if, if that was you, I'd, I wouldn't want you to do that. No. I wouldn't go, oh God, she, she loves me. I've got you to go. Okay, should we get into the argument now? Yes. All right. Um, hi, guys. Love listening to the podcast. Me and the girls in work are all obsessed and love coming into work on a Wednesday so we can debrief all our favourite bits from the night before. Keep it up. Uh, this is a bit of a personal one, so please keep anon, as I don't want the girls from work twe tweaking it's me. Although I'm hoping I can get their advice on this also when we have our Wednesday catch-up. Basically, I'm worried that my boyfriend loves partying more than he loves me. That's probably a bit dramatic, but his late night boozing and drinking is starting to become a bit of a worry for me. I always knew he was a jack the lad, and it's definitely one of the reasons I was first attracted to him. However, after nearly two years together, he didn't show any signs of slowing down, and it's beginning to grate on me. Um, mm. He's out with his mates at least three times a week, when he normally takes a full day to recover. It means that he's either drunk or hungover six days a week. 
I have definitely slowed down recently and mainly keep it to one night over the weekend or maximum two if it's a busy one. He also seems to be um, the one wanting to carry the night on and bring his friends back to, to ours for an after party, which when I have to be up for work the next morning really pisses me off. I don't want him to think I'm becoming a boring Norma, although I do still love going out with him and our friend. Um, but is it becoming a bit much and it's making me not as attracted to him? Do you guys have any advice and I can subtly get him to change his ways without having World War Three? Mm, that's a tough one. When you're out of sync and not on the same page, I think, you know, luckily me and you have always been kind of on the same page when it comes to, you know, drinking and going out, isn't it? Haven't we? Yeah, well, like when we're out together. If I'm out with, say, the lads. Yeah. I don't think I take the piss, do I? <laughs> Actually, you do, yeah. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Like you are late, you do come home late, and you do not, well, you do not, ignore my text. It's not two, three in the morning, is it? No, it's like eleven. And you do <laughs> bring your friend, all your friends back from the golf club. Well, I think you'd rather have week. my friends back. I think you'd rather have my friends back here than me go somewhere else. If I don't think you should be doing that, forty-two. <laughs> well, you can't have a few friends back from golf after golf. Yeah, but why can't you just say if I've had a great that. day? That's enough. Yeah, but so that's never the case, is it? Yeah. That's rich coming from you, isn't it? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> what, you? you know, let's have one, one for the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's only if... <laughs> we can't beat ourselves up. That's your famous quote. Yeah, but that's only if we're in like a group. Well, I'm in a group. That's what I'm saying. That's like... But like, listen, anyway, for enough about us, he's, he's going a bit strong there. I think three times a week with the lads in a relationship. Probably a bit too much. I agree. A bit much, you know. Mm. And I... I'm trying, I want to be in his corner here, help him out, but I, th I think you've got to rein that in a little bit. Yeah, I agree. It's just not sustainable. No. And then she'll get the best, she'll get the worst version of him. That's what you saying, he's hungover over half the week, but essentially isn't he? Yeah. You know I mean? So she needs to say something. And I don't think, I don't think not drinking every night makes you a boring person. No. Not at all, no. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think part of being in a relationship is the fact that you don't actually have to do that either. Like, possibly some of the best parts of being in a relationship is like not not having to go out and still having fun. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> I you had an internal time. yawn there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I, I don't. Like, that's that's a that's a good thing. So like, sometimes you you go, I, well, I can stay in and not be lonely. Yeah. You know, whereas mm. if you're on your own, you're like, oh, I might as well go out with the lads, mm. and then you feel hung over, and it's a vicious cycle. But I think having a girlfriend, it's quite nice to. Stay in, isn't it? Mm. And then you you feel fresh next day, and there's there's pros and cons to both. She should just book up his calendar like what Abby does. Yeah, so he hasn't got. To just... Are you messing? <laughs> I do not. Every do day that. of the week, just have a booked up act of fun activities. Don't not involve booze. I do not do that, but I should. <laughs> Give you an idea. Yeah. <laughs> you got no spare days though. No. Anyway, I just think yeah, I think I'm with I you. I think she needs to confront him and just say, "Look, got to rein this in a little bit." Yeah. Yeah, like, and if if I don't he, mind if you he going out, it's not three times a week. If he kicks up a fuss, then and to be honest, she's going out once or twice a week anyway on the weekend. Like, you can still then go out and have a bevy. It's not like she wants to be in no, no, teetotal, no. not doing any fun no, stuff. She sounds just, like she goes uh, out and have a bevy. She says she's out with his mates at least three times a week. Yeah. That's like standard, pretty, pretty heavy duty. That. All right, let's move on. Uh, how can I get my partner to stop being an absolute <laughs> slob? My partner is an absolute scruff, and I'm on the verge of walking out. I was always brought up as a bit of a clean freak, so I accept the fact um, I can be a bit high maintenance some of the time, although never in a million years would I admit this to his face. However, I would easily say my boyfriend creates 90% of the mess and chaos that goes in our flat and seems more than happy just to wallow in his own filth watching shite TV Ugh. all weekend, knowing that the cleaning fairy will be home any minute to sort it out. I think that's it. I think she's hit the nail on the head. I'd just leave it. I'd leave him to it. Crisp packets, clothes, shoes, tea rims on the coffee table, Ugh. deliver roo boxes, you name it, he does not give a fuck. <laughs> it has gone to the point now where I dread ever inviting friends or family back to mine. If we're out and about, uh, in case they think we are something off the Beverly Hillbillies, <laughs> I have made inquiries to our local GP about the associated costs of getting that sofa surgically removed from his back, and they didn't sound too impressed either. Mm. See, I think that says... I think that's the bigger picture. I think that says a lot about wow. a person in general. If you can wallow in your own filth mm. and, you know, how can you, 
Has he got any get up and go in real life? Vim. Yeah. It's yeah, just I mean, not it. for me. You know, my phobia is germs and dirt. Well, that, that sounds like he's going a bit, he's going a bit overboard there, I think, with the, uh, you know, just like leaving delivery boxes and all that. It sounds like he's had someone tidy him after him his whole life, like his mum or his girlfriend or something like that, doesn't he? Mm. Like you said, it's just yeah, not but that's it's you're not, I'm bad mannered. I'm your mother. I'm, yeah, it's a respect thing, isn't it? You're going to end yeah. up resenting him It's as bad well. mannered, but it also doesn't, if he's doing this now at a younger person, what's he going to be like as he gets older? Yeah, I mean, it's only going to get worse mm. if you keep doing it. But if you if you stop doing it, it might give him a kick up the arse. Even a dog doesn't go to live in his own bed. What? <laughs> what? He's not shitting himself. <laughs> you know what I mean? They keep their area. They keep their air, own area clean. Oh, right. That's what I mean. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. They keep okay. their pen clean. <laughs> they keep their... Shit in his own bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this man's disgusting. Man, was this fella? I couldn't, I, I, but I can't go to sleep until the kitchen's clean and my room's. Clean. I can't go to bed in a day. Like, obviously, we'll have like piles of. So if I'm packing, like I'm packing now, I've got like piles of clothes ready, but it's all completely organised. But there's no wrappers and cups and. No, I wouldn't. I, but I wouldn't do that. If you left me here for a couple of days, like I, you wouldn't come home to like shit everywhere, would no. you? Okay, last one here. Uh, hey, Abby and Pete, love the podcast. Thank you for always making me giggle on the weekend when I have a chance to sit down and catch up with you guys. My Agony app isn't super serious, so please feel feel free to have some fun with this. But also, uh, it's starting to give me a bit of an ick. Following on from Pete's new career as a content creator, I thought I would name and shame my boyfriend, Andrew, or Drew, as he's now trying to reinvent himself. Oh, as. my God. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. No, that's an ick already, isn't it? Droop. Who is... <laughs> He's also fancying himself as a content creator these days. Although I could think of a couple of better words to use those initials for. <laughs> Not only do I have the sheer embarrassment of him trying to capture every moment of our lives on camera, no matter how mundane, and sharing it with his followers, I also have to bite my tongue with some of the absolute nonsense that's coming out of his when communicating to his fans. He loves making out we have a fitness and wealth wellness lifestyle. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Lover of fresh Sundays with my one. And all round health is wealth type vibes. Uh, this seems to go out the window most weekends, however, when his friends invite him out to watch the rugby and he stays out till all hours only to wake up in the morning with a face like a dog licking piss off a nettle. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. His latest biggest cringe thing is the absolute outrageous use of face tuning and filters he puts on any Instagram post. Can we look at this guy? He really isn't a bad looking guy at all, so why he feels the need to do this is beyond me. Um, but he puts these filters on which make him look like a 15 year old girl. <laughs> Abby, as someone living a shared experience as me, how do you cope? <laughs> Georgina... Georgina, don't please don't compare me to your fella. <laughs> to Drew. <laughs> to Drew. Drew and Pete. Well, Drewby. Drewby. <laughs> Drewby. <laughs> yeah, get I don't know. I, I think it's more of an ick when a, a guy in a relationship is doing all of that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It shouldn't be. But it is. But it is. Oh God, like if you're both into it together creating. and you're doing it as a couple thing, maybe even individually. Where do you start You're in the with same all this, vibe? Though? Like, where do you start with all this? If you do want to be like a, you know, whatever it Don't is. Don't ask me. I can't even. No, but I'm saying if you did, like, people are out there being really successful at being like, you know, YouTubers or whatever, or like social media what, influencers or something, right? <laughs> but like, people are doing, like, where do you start? Like, you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? Yeah, but it's only alien to us because we're older and it's not our thing. I just think if, 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 if we. If somehow I started going like, um, you know, I know we mentioned the content creation stuff, right? But if I started going like, hey guys, you know, and started doing the TikToks and stuff like that, you just, you just think I was a knob, surely. You'd be getting binned. It's the fake lifestyle for me. Yeah, That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's probably at home eating a McDonald's the next day, hung being hungover from his bender. Doing a wellness. And then held his wealth. <laughs> Class. 
Oh, it's but the thing so is, funny. there is so many opportunities in that world for people. People probably think, why not? Let me give it yeah, a go. You've got, you've got to respect the hustle as well, haven't you? Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's the, well, but it is cringe for Georgina. Yeah, it's the sure. um, face. Yeah, she looks like a 15 year old girl. 15 year old girl. That's so funny. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's his mates, I think, that have to help him here. Yeah. Like, you know, I, but my, we've got I'd quite a few ripped. friends, female friends with cringy boyfriends. Yeah, who we do. Okay. <laughs> we just embrace. Yeah. yeah. You gotta respect it. Like it's they're all it, they're all out. Everyone's themselves. Do do what you've got to do. Different strokes for different folks. But Once for Georgina, I do think that, <laughs> that would be embarrassing for huh? her. That shit that would I can get what I can see why that's Making her feel a bit. She might Ill. be a little bit jealous as well if he's got like a legion of fans. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think he has. <laughs> can't we? Can't we his look mom. at him? Drew. Ross, can't we find him? I'll try and think about it. Yeah, we need Drew. to. We need to find this guy. Drew on Instagram. Yeah. And check out at his lifestyle. <laughs> I can't believe why has he gone for Drew? <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> I I I think Drew. Andy's worse than Drew. No, Drew's horrible. Drew is just drippy, melty. Yeah, I think you just got to go for Andrew, haven't you? Like, and, and. And, yeah. Andy? Ando. Ando. <laughs> is that what your mate Anders called? Andrew? No, he's uh, Anderson. His surname's Anderson. Uh, listen, Georgina, um, try not to throw up, but, you know, he's trying to do what he's, he's doing. It's kind of cute as well. He's, yeah. I can see where she's coming from. Mm. All right. I enjoyed that. I want you to be a bit. Ro- mi- la la la. I want you to be a bit more romantic, though. Oh, but you've said this loads of times. I thought I thought I was doing better. You know, you know? I've been doing better. Uh, no, give me one example of you doing better. Seriously, you said they give you a poem for Valentine's. Yeah, my poem. The was... poems are back. Uh, one you know, poem on Valentine's surprised you. You know, like, it's what? Lots of good stuff. You haven't behaved. You haven't kept up your end of the bargain. What was my end of the bargain? Be slightly nice to me at some, <laughs> at some stage. <laughs> Stop griefing me. Stop shouting at me. <laughs> Shut up. God. There you go. That, like don't that. You be Stop pe- that. Don't be tinging me with that brush. All right then. Well, listen, uh, the kids will be home from school now, so we we, we must run. <laughs> we must. Mustn't we? Mm. Yeah, I think no no when you were talking about role playing. <laughs> yeah, last we, week. We, we, should, we should do like the snog in the rain and the yeah. I'll let you go next time we're in that water park underwater like Jack oh yeah like <laughs> no <laughs> no nurse outfit no nurse outfit <laughs> why not why <laughs> for me I'll buy you one <laughs> nurse nurse crouch coming through I could be the doctor Wrap this up. Oh, this weird. I know. And <laughs> um, stop looking at me. Why? Get get that red. Outro. Oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> Just sign it off. Outro. Outro. <laughs> Adios. Peace.